everyone. I want to start off by giving everyone a big warm welcome to Precision Academy and to Algebra 1. My name is Miss Payan. To start off, I want to let you know that I firsthand understand how frustrating and overwhelming math can be. So please, if you ever start feeling frustrated or overwhelmed, don't. Just send me an email. Let me know what's going on. Let me know what you don't understand. I can always figure out a way to explain things differently or in a way that you can understand. If I don't know the answer, trust me, I'll do anything I can to find it. And we will do it together. Now, please, 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 always in the beginning of each class, have pencil and paper ready. We do take notes in this class. Um, like for example today, we're going to jump into lesson number one. When we jump into lesson number one, I do require you to take a note of everything that you will see on the board. Now, at the ending of lesson number one, I will have an assignment ready on the board as well. That is also, a requ that is also required for you to have in your notes, but you're going to answer it. You will be taking a picture of your notes and your assignment together and sending that to me via email, okay? So it's very important that you do take notes. If you, again, have any questions throughout the explanation, or if you don't understand the assignment, or you need extra help, just email me, okay? I will provide you my email at the end of this video, as well as during our lesson, okay? Now, let's get ready to begin. All right, now let's get started on concept number one, variables and expressions. Now, very important, again, I emphasize, please take a note of everything that is on the board, even as I write it, okay? That's very important. Now, if you ever feel the need to pause the video so you make sure you have everything that's on the board, please feel free to do so. Take your time. Now, Concept number one, variables and expressions. Now we saw this yesterday in Math Merit and we had a quick introduction. We uh, talked about what variables are. We also talked about uh, what expressions are and the different types of expressions there are. So today we're gonna put that to use. So. Yesterday, I had you guys do some word phrases into algebraic expressions or word problems. I'm sorry, not word problems, math, like actual math problems. Now, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a math problem, and what I want to do, want you to do, is to convert that into a word phrase. <clears throat> Losing my voice. For example, let's say we have 2x plus 3, okay? This is an algebraic expression. Why? Because it has a variable. Now, it is an algebraic has a variable. Now, as a word phrase, it will be 2x plus 3. There's my word phrase. There's my word phrase. So, that's how I want your assignment for today to look like. Okay? Now, let's say we have a problem that looks like this. Okay, 13 times 2. 
Is that an algebraic expression or a numerical expression? In this case, it is a numerical expression. Why? Because it does not have any variables. It has numbers and it has an operation symbol, but it does not have any variables. Therefore, it is a numerical expression. So we're going to label it as a numerical expression. And we're going to write it in word form or a word uh, phrase. Okay? So, another word that refers to multiplication is product. So we can word this one like this. The product of 13 and 2. Okay? Very important. Make sure you have everything down. All right, now moving to the assignment for the day. We have four math problems, which we're going to do the same exact thing that we did to our two examples of today. First, you're going to look at the problem and you're going to tell me whether this is an algebraic expression or a numerical expression, okay? If it is an algebraic expression, Tell me what the variable is. So, just as an example, let's do number one. 3x minus 10. 3x minus 10 is an algebraic expression. Why? Because it has a variable. So, you would write algebraic expression. The variable is x, because that is the variable, and the word, this algebraic expression in a word phrase. So let me write it up here. I'm running out of room. 3x minus. Okay, that is how I want you to answer number two, number three, and number four. If you have any questions throughout the assignment, please do not hesitate to email me. I'm here to help you. Now I hope to be hearing from everyone very, very soon, and I hope you all have a very wonderful day.